How long are homeowners staying in their homes and is that changing? But before we jump into that, make sure you hit subscribe below to stay on top of all of the latest Huntsville, Alabama real estate news. So recent stats have come out about home ownership and how long individuals and families are staying in that same home. So you look at 1985 to 2005, so a 20 year span, very little change in terms of staying in the same home. It was about five years up to six years on average. And then you fast forward to the last couple of decades or so, and that rate has over doubled. It was six years in the same home. Now we're at over 13 years staying in the same home. So people are staying in the same home twice as long as they used to, over twice as long as they used to. So where are we going in the future over the next decade or so? Well, I think in the short term and probably even the long term as well, we're likely to increase the average stay of over 13 years. And I think that for a couple of reasons, number one is we're experiencing this mortgage rate lockdown effect for, for many would-be sellers. They're simply not motivated enough to sell their home as they have these ultra low interest rates starting in the high twos or low threes. And then you couple that with a lack of supply across this country a six million home deficit, that really does not bode well for um, that number decreasing, you know, having lack of options and also not being motivated by having low interest rates or a locked in low interest rate is, not, is going to likely keep a lot of people in their homes over the next decade. So that's number one, but then also for number two, probably the unintended consequence is it's going to make it harder and harder for first time home buyers to get into their home as there's gonna be less and less supply out there versus less motivated sellers. And then there's also just a lack of supply in this country and people staying in their homes longer is does not bode well for first time home buyers, but it does bode well for people that currently own a home, uh, likely going to continue to see uh, price appreciation over the next decade as we continue to see inflation and just lack of supply. Supply and demand helps drive home appreciation across the US. So if you don't wanna be part of this renter nation trend that we're seeing, shoot us an email at moving at mattcurtisrealestate.com or give us a call today at 256 333 move and we can give you a list of affordable home options in this area whether it be new construction or existing homes to help you start to build wealth and get into your first home.